Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to Hawk to Genius here, and in this video we're going over what are the most common old starter pets in Prodigy. Yes, you heard that right. Not the new starter pets which are impossible for new players for old players to get, but the old starter pets. What are the most common old starter pets? Well, without further ado, let's get on straight to that. Alright, so by far I'd say that the most common starter pets, the old Prodigy starter pets, has to be these two over here, right? As you guys can see over here, we have these two over here, Celestiates and Accurates, right? Now the reason why I'm saying these two are so common is because you can find them, literally, you can literally find them lying around in the archives. And if you can find them around in the archives, do you know how many people visit the archives in like one year? It's like five quadrillion, so you can just catch them in the archive, you can catch two of them, and boom shakalaka, you have yourselves both of these pets all of a sudden. And that is why these guys are probably the least rare epics. But on the other hand, if you were to have yourselves approximately a single... If you were to be able to have yourselves a Sorrel on your team, that would be a whole different thing. Because this guy, this pet over here is actually pretty hard to get. Now let's go to the next most common thing. Oh, wait, no, not Sorrel. A Kriya. Krila. Krila. Yeah, that's much harder to get. But now let's go to the next most common pet in Prodigy, which is going to be Dragic. Dragling and Terragon. Yes, you might be wondering, what? These guys are common? Well, let me tell you, these guys are found, these guys were found literally everywhere in Bonfire Spire. I mean, you could find them next to the Queen, next to the Garden, in the Turnip Patch, the, I don't know, swimming on lava or something, but these dragons were found literally everywhere. And as you guys can see, if you go through this, you will find that I have like one of each of these guys. They were so common, I had like 50 ones in my pet book. That was a crazy time. Now next up on our list, I would say that the next few guys are actually tied. Because it's pretty hard to find them if they're in the world of Prodigy. Like, you guys can see, you can easily get yourself approximately 5. It was These 5 epics over here were pretty easy to get. But over here, as you guys can see, for Pico, Flyger, and for Pico, Rack Rack, and Flyger, it was much harder to get them. And it was also much harder to get yourself Sorrel, Soralysis, and Solarix. It was quite hard to get these guys. So let me quickly give you some information. So the rest of the original starter pets were found in their respective elemental location in Prodigy, right? So you could uh, you could uh, when you leave catch a hint of a Sorrel or its evolu Sorrel somewhere in Skywatch, which I don't think existed. Maybe it was Clockwork Town or something like that. I don't remember. Anyways, and then you could also get yourself Krila in well. Uh, Barnacle Cove. Yeah, you could get these guys in these areas. Now, it was a very long time ago. I rarely saw these guys, so I didn't catch them. But looking back on it now, I could have had my entire pet book filled, but no, I didn't catch these guys. But by far, if you guys ask me, I'd say probably one of the rarest and best is the, fl the Flyker. The Rack Rack is like a... Uh, I don't know. It's either Pico or Rack Rack. Just skip Ra Pico or Flyker. Just skip the Rack Rack. No need for it. And then on the other hand, you know, if I could trade maybe some of my pets, what I would do is I might trade it for Sorrel's Evolutions. Now if you guys ask me, these guys are some pretty old pets in Prodigy, but what pets are, well, older, if you guys ask me. Well, pets which I can remember being back in Prodigy are mostly everything on this page over here, which you guys can see. New, except for these new pets which have been added over here, like the Pyro ones... Pyro, Dendro, Electro, wait, wrong game. <laughs> okay, except for the fire, um, electro, fire, earth, electro, water, and ice pets, what you guys can see is that the rest of the pets over here are actually quite old in Prodigy, except for, like, maybe, um, except for just a few pets, the other ones over here are quite old. Now, if you have the, now, nearly every single pet in the pet book has gotten an art, uh, art rework, right? Yeah, you guys can see, nothing is the same as it looks previously, and my pet book is still glitched out. Alright guys, so that's not the only thing which we're going to be doing in this video, telling you guys what are the oldest pets, but we're also going to be looking at what were the best oldest pets. What were the pets which were considered the best of the best in the ancient times of Prodigy? Well, now time for the second part of this video. What were the pests? Pests. 
What were the pets which were considered the best of the best of the ancient times of Prodigy? Well, I'll tell you right now, it was one of these two. Like, these two were no cap one of the best because they could cast astral spells. I mean, imagine if your pets could cast spells which literally do consistent damage all across the board. I mean, that would be amazing if you guys ask me. So these guys were some of the best, if you guys ask me. I mean, I mean, I'd pretty much want them. And then, of course, how can we make a Prodigy video without membership, without... Member, mem membering. What am I saying? Without mentioning the All and Mighty Ember Shed, one of the most viewed videos on my channel. You know, I think the old version of this looked a little bit better. The Infern Youths, uh, I don't know. Burn you kind of just looks like the Salamander. Um, Salamander, but it's on fire. Salamander, but its arms have turned into. But one of its arm has turned into a wing. Salamander who has grown. Wait, did you guys see this? Do you see this over here? It seems like that the Infern Youths and the Ember Shed. The Ember Shed our friend's legs become wings and it grows another pair of legs? What? Please explain to me what in the world is going on over here. Did it just grow new legs or something like that? But as you guys can see, the Ember Shed power ratio does increase a little bit, but it's not that much. And speaking of old stuff in Prodigy, here's some of the old stuff which you guys probably don't have in terms of currency. Let's go look over here, Star Shards. These things are like impossible to get now because they were only available during Starlight Festival. That's who the old version of Starlight Festival, not the new one, the old version. And then of course over here, as you guys can see, I probably have some additional currency lying around eventually somewhere. Where is it? Come on. Magical eggs. No, that's pretty awful. Huh. Wood. Yeah, getting yourselves wood would be pretty rare because this thing was added so long ago and it's like so hard to collect them. You can't even get them now. They were like only in game for a year before, before um, uh, what do you call it? The Lost Island just got lost again. <laughs> and another thing is these copper coins. Just look at them. 1,370. Oh yeah, by the way, the fox buddy, which I think is probably, the fox buddy has to be, one, no, the brown hamster. The brown hamster has to be one of the most widespread and oldest buddies in Prodigy. As you guys can see, you can basically, wait, no, it's not the white hamster. Yeah, if you guys look over here, the fox buddy is probably the most widespread pet in Prodigy because you guys can see it's a fox buddy. You get it with parent account. Literally everyone has a parent account linked. That means you get yourself an instant fox buddy. This is probably one of the oldest pets in, one of the oldest buddies in Prodigy and one of the oldest buddies in my agenda over here as well. And for boots, um, I got the light shoes as the first thing ever. My first relic was a fire relic. Um, no, I'm pretty sure I got them all at once. Training wand. But yeah, guys, that was just a quick overview of all of the oldest stuff in Prodigy. As you guys can see, I went over pets and stuff. And yeah, I hope you guys found this video somewhat entertaining, figured out what some of the oldest things in Podgy were, and how you're never going to be able to get them ever again. You know, I really hope Podgy adds limited time events which allow us to, like, obtain old things in Podgy, like feathers and stuff, so we can actually, like, complete, so we can actually complete our book collection or, like, the old pets. Hey, right, come on, dude, do it, come on, you know we want it. But anyways, guys, I think that's going to be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We're able to get a quick recap of anything if you guys have just come to Prodigy and have missed in the last, uh, I don't know, four or five years. So yeah, guys, that's going to be all for this video. Please do hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already. I really appreciate that. Thank you to everyone for watching, and bye!